Okay, disclaimer. Before we get anything started, before this video even begins, this is not to bash our, our Caucasian brother and sisters. This ain't even to separate us. Someone asked a question and I was inclined to respond. This is just my opinion. Let's go. Man, you been alive. I, 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 cut us down, man, you multiply. I don't care, man, I fly to you. Air Jordan's while I take flight. That was a line from back in the day. Big up, Gershom, we'll be doing fine. I, I, where the time go? Bye bye to my old flow. Risky, I'm like. Welcome back to my channel, y'all. It is your girl, Essence of Shay. Yes, you've seen me in this um, get up before, but <laughs> I thought I was looking suavemente. Besame. And I just wanted to continue doing a video. In this video, I will be talking about the infamous question, can white people have dreadlocks? Nah. Um, a little back history of dreadlocks from what I've researched and what I've been privy to. A lot of people say it started off in India, but a lot of people say it started off in Egypt back in the Jesus days. But a lot of people are also saying that German Vikings, Egyptians, it, it like if you go Google it and you go read up an art history and all that stuff, it stems from a long time ago, but we know locks to be more popular or more uh, come from uh, people with melanated. It got more popular uh, or more seen uh, with Caribbean um, folks, and that's what a lot of people associate the beginning of locks to be from even though it goes way deeper than that um but we know it to be a thing of the caribbean avenue right and people like bob marley and lauren hill and shaba uh, shaba does shaba have locks just a bunch of people we know to have made locks a big thing but also Locks were said to be like, even though Bob Marley made it popular and stuff like that, that's the only one I could think of on the top of my head, but there's more. People still thought of it as dirty and disgusting and non-educated people wore locks and people who didn't have good jobs and stuff like that. So a lot of people didn't see locks as like the trend that it is now. You feel me? And raise my hand. I keep it one thou wow. When I was growing up, I didn't see locks as like a trend or like a a popular thing or people I I was one of those people who looked down to people not looked down like you were beneath me, but like I didn't see anything positive about the whole situation, right? Um, even though I was raised in the Caribbean, I, I didn't think positive or negative, to be honest, when it came to locks until I started it myself and I just read more about it and understood, um, the lock community and all that stuff. And then I realized that, yo, it's more to this than just hair. You feel what I'm saying? So I think the problem when it comes to the question, can white people wear locks is the fact that you guys thought of locks in like a negative way and didn't bring us into your circle until the people like Justin Bieber had them fake stupid things on the top of his head and then now you see all these uh like hippie quote unquote hippie uh white people with locks so you think they're super cool and rock bands their leader has locks and oh this is popping and like the runways of milan has locks now so it is a big thing now so it's like a trend and it's like fam i had this for like a decade <laughs> and I could not be in your popular circle. My sis couldn't be in your popular circle. You looked down to my king. You didn't think he was um, educated. Hey, Tiger Lilies. Listen, so you made it this far. You might as well just hit the subscribe button. And while you're at it, click that bell so you don't miss out on any 
of my videos because you know sometimes your girl be going MIA. Okay, back to the video. Bye. Fam, we've been doing this, so I don't understand. So that, I think that's the problem that people have when it comes to white people with locks is that now you you jumping on a bandwagon and now everybody thinks this is cute because of you, but we've been doing this. So that's why I think a lot of people, including myself, have a, may have an issue with it. To be honest, I really don't care who has dreadlocks or locks as long as you guys are making it in a positive light. You feel what I'm saying? I remember telling you guys in the last year, or the beginning of the year, that I want to put people of the lock community on a higher platform and not just light-skinned people and not just white people, all people with locks in the, the higher communities and make us a priority like the curly heads out there. You feel what I'm saying? Because we are forced to be reckoned with it as well. So that, I think that's the problem that a lot of people are having with people with, uh, white people with locks. And to keep it a thou out, sis, some white folks, and I got <laughs> white friends. They don't have locks. So this ain't a dig at white people. But some white people, they lock, sis. There's a difference between free-forming and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also put in the comment box below, what do you think? Do you think white people can wear locks? Do you think it has anything to do with cultural appropriation? Do you agree with some of the points that I made? Do you disagree? Put in the comment box below. I would love to hear you guys' op um, opinions on this whole matter because it's talked about a lot and I never wanted to really talk about it on my channel because I didn't want the stupid people coming up on my channel. But I mean, it's my channel, so that's a rule that I won't. <laughs> You feel me? Anyways, um, <laughs> I love you guys so much for watching. See you later, Tiger Lilies. I gotta get up to come to you because I pushed the camera back. So you're far now. See you later, Tiger Lilies. Toodles. Uh, crash course. Let me hide the money in the dashboard. Max mad, could you lost the brick inside the Porsche?